Yo, let's look at this interesting content together. How to dynamically change icons and emoji in Power BI using one beautiful DAX function called Unichal. A lot of people like to create interesting dashboards in Power BI and they like to put um, uh, different emojis, different icons when they are building their dashboard. And how can you move from this to um, this? All right? I'm sure you like this one. So I can you move from this before to this after, to this after here. So you can see in my after, I have a lot of icons. Uh, I have an icon beside the PY. I have an icon beside the sales. I have an icon beside my year on year, even my uh, percentage year on year, and even my correlation coefficient, right? So this guy is frowning right now, saying that your correlation is weak. I'm like, let me change the, the slicer to me. example. Maybe another supervisor, for example, and let me see if this changes. Can you see all the emojis are changing as well, right? And you, you can really see uh, uh, the, the, the difference in the, in, the, the, in the icons and the emoji that I'm clicking as well and how they are really, really changing, okay? So so that is just some, some interesting thing we are going to do today to see how we can actually move from um, this to that, all right? So to quickly do that, it's something very simple. Uh, I, we can actually do that together right now. And you see the way I'm going to add emojis to all this, my interesting cards, right? My interesting cards. Now, let's look at this before, this before report. Let's look at the before report. All right, so I'm going to make the before reports look like the after report, right? That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to start with my previous year so to see that in um, um, with an icon right so the first thing you do what I usually advise people on there's a lot of emojis um, online that you can take advantage of I have this particular website that I use um, myself so that website is called uh, emojipedia emojipedia emojipedia.org emojipedia.org so you can see different type of emojis that you want here and different type of emojis that you like to see so so like this now i like an emoji related to um, um, um maybe maybe time so if i type like previous year so i want something related to time so that's previous year so i can see different emoji here uh uh, our class so this particular one maybe I, I i want this for example what i'm going to do is just to copy this and go to maybe excel i can even go to excel right so if you go to excel right this is excel they come to excel here there is a formula that we have in pavia and it's also in excel as well so if i paste this emoji that i copied from that website uh emojipedia so this is the the emoji so every icon every emoji every object have a code right let's do this two powerful function called unichal unichal and then unicode unichal and unicode so unicode just describe a code of a, 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 a an object right so if i want to know the code of this object if i reference this and i say unichal of this it's going to give me the code of this particular emoji and that's 8987 i can also use unichal as well if i do unichal and I, I just type let me just type any any number and let's see the icon that this is now look look look, look at this so this is just giving me this icon so it's telling me that every icon actually has a number assigned to them right and this particular time that i want to use this is the number so basically in my sheet one I have all the emojis I needed here. I've already brought all the emojis I needed in my report. Look at them. This is all the emoji I needed. This is the, 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 the one for the time, right? And what did I do? I just do equals to Unicode this one to give me the number. And that is what I need, right? Now, to, to, to do this in Power BI, to make sure Power BI actually has this, I'm just going to go to Power BI and create another uh, measure, right? Another measure. And in this new measure, I will just click on new measure. I'll click on new measure and I'm, I'm going to call this PY with uh, icon, right? PY with icon. And I'm going to write a formula that says that 
I, in fact, let me do a, a variable first and call this um, emoji, right? This emoji and this emoji to use the emoji, remember the number. So the way Power BI works, you, you can't really, you don't want to paste the, the actual emoji here. You want to use the number. So I can say uni, uni chow. Then I'll go to my um, Excel to copy the number, which is this 8987, right? 8987 and put it here. So I want unichild of this, right? Unichild. Okay, so sorry for that. So unichild of this, right? And I'm going to write the formula that says return um, unichild. I will just do my my py with my unichild. So I'll just say my py, which is my prior year uh, formula, and uh, the what? The emoji. So I want to see two of them, right? In fact, I can put space here so that I can be space between my emoji and had another hand. Look at my formula again. This is my expression. So the expression, this expression just says that PY with icon is equal to my emoji, which is this uni child, and then the PY space and the emoji. So if I hit enter right now, and I come here, so I'm going to put this new formula in my chart so you see how this is going to 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 to, to behave, right? So I'm going to change this to this. All right, now this is already there. Let me expand this. Can you see that? I have the icon here. I have the icon here. But another problem I have is this number because I use it in the formula. The number is just showing everything. I actually turn it to... Uh, something like uh, like text so I mean need some kind of go there and format the 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 py so I'm going to use I'm going to use I'm going to use format there's a function called format that allows you to format um, numbers then I'm going to come here and use the format code right the format code for thousand separator is hash comma hash hash point zero right and zero that's the format code then I'm going to put it in quotes I put it in quotes like this but i also like to see this number in million right another formatting rule also say that when you want your number in million you or in billion actually you put three comma three comma in billion right i'm going to put bn here so you can actually put bn for me so if i hit enter now enter now let's look at how my previous year is going to behave let's see how my previous year is going to behave now look at this. This is 48.5 BN. 48.5 BN. So let me quickly do that for sales. So you see the way I, I'm going to carry out the sales. So I'll do new measure. New measure. And in this measure, I'm going to say sales with icon. Sales with icon. And that's equals to variable. This variable is called emoji. And then what is the number for the icon i want to use for sales i would like to use this chart right and the icon is 128202 so i'll just go back there and say unichild unichild remember this unichild is very powerful it's extremely powerful so i'll just put unichild there and put the number there now i'm going to say return return the format of i'm going to format the sales the way i show you how to format the other time format the sales and put it in quotes to say ash comma ash 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 i'm going to put three comma for billion then point zero and then i'm going to put bn here close the quotes right then close my bracket for format and what's the next thing i do i say and um, space and then the emoji okay the emoji at the top right emoji the emo emoji okay sorry i didn't put hand here so hand and my emoji right so so that will give me an emoji with a sign beside it for sales right which is sign beside it for sales in fact i can decide to show my to put my emoji first before i i put the sales up there so let me put this in my um cart and let's see how it's going to show in the cart all right interesting so let me click this and say uh, sales with icon sales with icon let me replace this with sales with icon and you can see that so my sales have icon now another dynamic way of actually working with this unit and icon 
is I like I, I love using it when I'm, I'm 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 trying to do a conditions to say this year on year and year on year percentage. So for example, year on year, when my year on year is negative, when a manager, if I click a manager here and then the year on year is kind of negative, I would like to see it in a different icon, maybe an arrow down, for example. And if it's positive, I would like to see it in a, maybe to just show love, right? I just want to see love. So say, okay, there's really love. Uh, this thing is actually growing, okay? So I'm going to write a formula. I'm just click on new measure again. New measure. All right. So in my new measure, what I'm going to do basically, I'll call this uh, year on year percentage, year on year uh, with icon, right? With icon, we say equals to. So I'm going to declare uh, like two variables to say um, emoji when the sales is up, right? And then another variable that is emoji when the sales is down, right? So I'm going to go here now and now do equals to unital. So the icon that I would like to use, I picked that from the same website, right? Copy and paste here the new unicode to give me the number. So the icon I would like to use here is um, when the sales is up, I like to use this guy, right? So I'll just copy this guy and then come here and say when the sales is up, I want this number. Okay, I want this this number. And then when the sales is down, I want uh, which icon do I want? I want this one, this triangle. Uh, triangle down arrow so you can see that here if you type uh, triangle on this website that triangle here you see the arrow down triangle here that's one which you can copy to excel and do a unicode of it so i'm going to copy this and then paste it in my power bi as my arrow down okay now the next thing i will do is to do a condition to return a conditions to say um if my sales is less than minus one then i want you to show me the actual value with um, the emoji down and if the sales is greater than one and then i want you to show me the uh, actual value with the emoji hop right so i'm just going to do if look at this if my year or year that's what i'm working with is less than is less than minus one right that is the, the, the logic. The name is less than minus one. I want you to do emoji down, right? Emoji down, or let me do, let me start with the, with the number first. So I want you to format, I'm gonna use format again because I want my number to, to come up well. I want you to format year on year. I want you to format year on year in millions, right? So I'll just do ash, put it in code first, ash, comma, Ash ash three two comma four million right I'm doing million this time dot zero and hem close my bracket okay so this format once you format this and the emoji so which is the emoji down right emoji down or let me put a space so at least we, we structure things nicely and emoji down okay so that is the first condition that is if it's less than one comma I'm going to do the second condition that says that S just give me the, the format year on year with emoji down. So I can even copy this. Look at this. So I, I don't need to replicate this again. I can copy this and say if that, then if is then else, just give me format, format year on year, uh, emoji, emoji hub. All right? Emoji hub. And I'll close my bracket and I'll enter. Then I'll enter. Now let's see how this this is going to behave in my card. Uh, let me put this in my card and let's see how this this is going to behave. So I will just um, year on year with icon. Interesting. As look at that year on year. When this is positive, I can actually see the the green love, right? Now let's filter this and let's see any negative, right? Now, look at this. So, when it is negative, I can also see an arrow down, an arrow down. So, so th th this is kind of interesting. I've done something for year on year percentage before, similar to year on year. So, I can just quickly put that here. So, you see that as well. So, what I did for negativity on this is show me front face, right? <laughs> show me uh, 
frown. So it's just frowning your face and then uh, and then if it's positive, then it should show me something else, right? Just thumbs up, right? If it's possible, thumbs up. Now, let's look at this correlation. I, I would like to do some kind of advanced stuff for this correlation because correlation itself has um, different levels of uh, 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 where you measure correlation. When you have negative correlation, maybe I want this to smile. When you have positive correlation, now look at this, my formula for correlation here. What I did here was basically to just uh, declare different variables to say this is my weak uh, uh, icon, right? Unichild. So this weak icon just show a front face, right? This strong icon just show a smiley face, right? Which is this icon, which you can get in this same website, right? Using this smiley, you can get them here. And then the very strong icon is this, which is saying when it's very strong, give me this another type of icon. Then what I'm doing is if this my correlation is less than or equals to 0 0.5, right? Then format the correlations to this and join it with weak, right? If it's greater than this particular one, so I just put different conditions here and and then so that my, my uh, card can actually switch based on that. So if I change this to this, you see that I have weak and I have the front face. So for anyone that is not um, 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 weak, for any correlation that is not weak, let me see if I can check for any correlation that is not weak, then you will see that that uh, uh, card is going to smile if the correlation is not weak. Okay, weak, still weak. Um, let me check some other people that have a very strong correlation so that we can see how this is going to smile. Okay, I think I know a lady, so let me go to the lady. Uh, I, I know that lady has a very good um, correlation. What, what's her name again? Clayton. So Clayton has a very good um, um, correlation. And you can see this. This is strong correlation, right? 10.58 strong correlation. You can see this is smiling, right? So you can do the same thing in your chat as well. You can decide to actually use um, an icon with a chat. So you see the icon here with your chat, right? And how do you do that? Just go and identify the type of um, um, icons you need the type of icons you need in your in your uh, uh, um, chat then go to the table and some kind of create create a unit child here right so I just did a unit child unit child of this Jerry code this Jerry code is like the code of those icon already and I do a unit child that combine this combine this with this right then in my chat I can now use um, this instead I can use this instead right Instead of this, and uh, and once I put emoji, you'll be able to see the emoji sign here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we will release another video very soon. Thank you so much. I hope you'll be able to improve your report going forward now. Julie Charles.